Now, the next speaker we have is Robert Swain. He has... Oh, that's right, that's right. First, before Robert speaks, we've got a special presentation. And we appreciate you guys joining in with us on this special presentation. This is to acknowledge the contributions of somebody. Well, one of the things about the MABRC, uh, we started them out pretty young. Uh, we got a young gentleman here that has started out when he was four months old. Of course, he'd be passed out in the back of the vehicle asleep. But uh, for, uh, for quite a while now, he has been hounding me about when am I going to make uh, anything besides junior researcher. Uh, so we discussed it and we thought, well, it's about time after all these years that somebody gets a little promotion. So I'm going to let Randy say a few things while I kick up the presentation. And uh, then we're going to get, uh, we need Carl and we need uh, Roy wherever he is. Uh, these gentlemen are basically uh, this little guy's bosses. Uh, Carl is our Mid-South Regional Director. Uh, we've got Roy, who is also the Eastern Oklahoma uh, State Director. And uh, at this time, I like to call Izzy up while Randy doesn't talk. To well, when a researcher says that basically that they've been researching since they were pooping in diapers, this really is the guy that's been doing that. Uh, his best bait to us is when he would fall asleep as a youngster and just be cute. So, uh, but he, he's put in the time and he's put in the effort. Uh, I was recently out with him, up just a little bit north of here, and always willing to lend a helping hand. And he looks for signs. He's been there from the beginning. And congratulations, buddy. Uh, I 
time, was fortunate enough to spend some time with Robert in his area a couple years back. He was gracious enough to escort me into his area, and then he left me alone, so he was pretty scary. Uh, but it's a great area. He's doing some good research over there. Thank you guys for coming out, uh, especially since this morning was a little bit wet. Uh, I'm staying in a tent, and everything in my tent got wet before I got to fly on this morning. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, uh, I guess I was going to have to research tonight for that rare elusive aqua Bigfoot uh, there in the river. But, uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I think I've st I started in 2009 uh, coming to the conferences with this, uh, this group, and uh, they've been gracious enough to adopt me. And every time they have an expedition, they they invite me to come along, and I really enjoy being uh, with this group of researchers because they're nuts. They're literally nuts. They talk about great fodder for cartoons. I just come and I just fill up notebooks when I'm around them. So. Uh, if you might can see some of some of your uh, annex in some of these cartoons. I started drawing the last squatch cartoons in 2007 for my little boy. He's not a little boy anymore, but uh, he, he still enjoys them. And uh, I'm working on my second book. Uh, and so hopefully by this time next year, uh, that book will be out. Uh, if you ever have ideas uh, that would make a good cartoon, Get with me. I'd love to hear them, and uh, you probably uh, see that idea in a cartoon. Go ahead. Uh, like I said, I, I, uh, I started drawing these for my little boy. I never expected anybody else to see them, and so this was him and me when we would go out researching. I used to call him my Bigfoot bait, and I uh, go out there in the in the woods, and so. Uh, a couple of people in the in the community uh, saw them, and Kathy and Bob Strand, and a couple of others, and really liked them. Started putting them out on the internet, and uh, that's where uh, that's where it comes from. If you ever see a guy with a mustache and a beard like that, it's usually me because I really try to make myself a butt of the, a lot of jokes. Too. Go ahead. We we research in the south. This isn't the Pacific Northwest, and I think that the animal, although genetically it's probably the same thing, uh, socially it's a little bit different. Uh, a lot of times uh, they're a little bit more aggressive in the South. They're a little bit uh, angrier, and I always wonder why, until you get out in the woods in the South, and uh, you know, you, the, the chicks, uh, the ticks, and the chiggers, and the mosquitoes, and all would make anybody crazy if you had to live out there. And so I think that's probably the reason why the Southern Bigfoot is so cranky, is uh, the conditions he has, he has to live in. Go ahead. All right. Another thing about the, the Southern Bigfoot is sometimes they find three-toed tracks instead of five-toed. Now, there's a lot of speculation about that, but uh, uh, they do find three-toed tracks occasionally. And uh, is it genetic? I don't know. Uh, is it, uh, you know, you, did you lose toes for, to frostbite? I don't know. You would think you would have that in the Pacific Northwest, too. But that's a trait of the southern Bigfoot. This guy says he couldn't believe that his little girl had fallen for this boy. You can see the couple in the back. Why, his people uh, in his family only have three toes. He just, you know, one of those, one of those situations you really hope she would marry up, you know. He probably is. There you go. Let's, let's go to the next one. Uh, <coughs> probably the most prominent thing that happened in the South was what happened in Falk, Arkansas uh, in the 70s. And the movie, the, the, the campy movie that came out in 1972 really creates that, uh, uh, you know, that popularity of, of what happened in the South. Uh, before that movie came out, everybody thought Bigfoot was just in the Pacific Northwest, California, Oregon, and Washington, British Columbia, and that's, that's the only place you would find it. And then all of a sudden in 72, here comes a movie that way down south in the bottom lands of Arkansas, they have the same critter down there. Uh, and, and raise your hand if you've ever seen Legend of Boggy Creek. Yeah. Did it scare you when you was a kid? It scared me. Uh, when I was in high school, my first venture into Bigfoot research I took my spring break, and three days of my spring